Nope. <laughs> you don't get you don't get to go to Omaha to take it somewhere else. You you what was uh what was the reaction like when you saw the name come up on the board? Uh, we were all excited. You know, as you could probably think, any reaction would be from any team that doesn't know if they're in the tournament or not. Jumping up around, you know, hugging each other, getting hype. Um, just, you know, a great feeling inside to know that we're one of the top 68 teams to make the NCAA tournament. Coach Green had said that he was slightly shocked that you guys were a 10 seed. Were you guys shocked a little bit too? Um, I would say so, just from hearing you know, what the ESPN guys were saying about us being first four in or first four out. Uh, we didn't think we would get as high as a 10 seed. We were thinking more of an 11-12, but um, the committee thought that we deserved a 10 seed, and, you know, we we're grateful for it. Coach said you guys were, you know, I guess you were nervous, and it showed this morning when you were lifting. How tight were you guys? He said he was pretty relaxed, but that, that you were, he could feel the nerves from you. Um, I mean, I think most of us were just, you know, a little, a little nervous at times. Uh, we just had a lot of doubt about it. We didn't really know. Um, and we were just waiting for that uh, name to come up. Um, and like yo, we just said, we were very uh, excited and a lot of emotion came out when it did. For a guy like you that was here last year when you guys didn't make the tournament, what's it, what's it feel like for you to, to be going this year? It's like a new season just started. Um, I mean, right now, zero on zero. And I'm happy to be here. It's just my first time in it. It's my second year here. So it's just hoping that it'd be a lot of fun. James, nerve wracking process. You happy this, this, it's over? Yeah. Um, everyone was really anxious before we heard it. And after, like Yogi said, we was all so happy for each other. And uh, we're just going to make the most out of it. Nick? State, you had a chance to play Wichita State a few times. What can you tell us about Wichita State that you know? Oh, they're a great team. Um, well coached, very tough uh, physically and mentally. Um, they, uh, I mean, coaching, I think coaches told us they're one of the winningest programs in the past three years uh, from winning percentage wise. And, you know, they went to the Final Four a few years ago and I played them several times. They're, they're very good. We, uh, we have our work cut out for us, but we're very excited uh, to have them as well. What about Baker and Mavlin? Oh, they're two great players, well experienced. Um, and uh, winning is definitely not new to them, like I just said. Uh, you know, Van Vliet's very smart. Um, and, and Baker, he can, get, he can do a lot of things that most people can't. Um, but then again, you know, I got some of the best guards here to my side too, so I'm excited to go to war with them. As much as I guess it is you have faced them, and Greg Marshall, their coach, has been there a while. Is there one thing that's sort of the way they play, one or two things that every scouting report starts with, with Wichita State? Here's the, I guess, the, the things that come up every time you prepare for them. Or have they changed as, as personnel has changed? Uh, well, I think their five starters right now were all there last year. Um, so personnel-wise, they're, uh, they're similar to what they were last year. Um, but I know there's definitely new guys uh, on that team that have, you know, big impacts throughout the year. Um, and those guys I'm not as familiar with. But uh, one thing with Wichita is, you know, they're a tough team. Like I just said, um, they play tough. And, and a big thing of theirs is play angry. And, uh, you know, they're, they definitely do that game in and game out. Yogi, what do you tell the guys that haven't been here before? It's just a few of you that have experienced this. Yeah, I say just me and Hunter have experienced the NCAA tournament our freshman year. You know, going into this, you know, just got to tell these guys, you know, not to get too hyped up in the moment. You know, it's another game, but to not think of it as just another game. We got to go out there and play our hearts out because now you're only guaranteed one game, and that's the first one. So we got to go out there and play like we've been playing. We got to play desperate. We got to go out there and fight for one another, hold each other accountable, and just try and go out there and improve and win. Yeah, it's definitely been something that I've always looked forward to watching college basketball. That's what you see. March Madness um, is so, it's such a big thing. So growing up, I've looked forward to that. And coming here, um, that was our goal. We wanted to do that at the beginning of the season when our backs were against the wall from, from jump. Troy, what about you? I'm just happy to be here. 
Um, no, I mean, it means a lot to me, you know. Uh, coming from a basketball family like I am, where my aunt coaches at Auburn, my uncle's Boo Williams. I mean, me actually going through the tournament now is like me just setting even more legacy for my family and I. I ain't call him yet. <laughs> you, you talked about it, and, and Nick talked about, I guess, their experience. You talked about you guys being young in your mind. And I know it's early. I know you're still just sort of starting to get ready for Wichita State. But how do you how do you negate that advantage that they have in experience? Because there are a lot of guys on that team that have been through, not even just to the NCAA tournament. They won a lot of games there. They've been to a, a Final Four. Obviously, they were number one seed last year. Yeah, I think that comes with the preparation of our team. I know the coaches are going to get us well prepared. And the way we prepare the rest of this week is just going to give us a better edge, I feel like, when we go out there and play such an experienced team like Wichita State. So, you know, once we're prepared, we got to go out there and just have a want to, you know, have a want to win, have a want to get stops, have a want to share the ball, play defense, communicate. And, you know, when that comes and, um, you know, when that comes with us, we'll get more experience if we win the game. Yogi, what do you think the defense improved so much in Chicago? Prior to that, it was kind of iffy certain times. Yeah, I'd say, you know, guys wanting to play defense for one another. Uh, I think there's a lot more talk out there in Chicago, just knowing kind of maybe what, what was at stake. And like I said, you know, we went out there and we played desperate. We played hard, offensive rebound, defensive rebounding, going out there, sharing the ball. And, you know, when we would have that mentality to know you know, we want to get stops, you know, because what Coach always talks about is how many stops can we get in a row. And I think we have the most against North Northwestern. So, I mean, when we go out there and string stops together, we know that we can get our offense rolling. Yogi, if you guys just keep playing desperate, Wichita State keeps playing angry, like they like to say, you know, what kind of game do you expect? You know, I mean, it's an NCAA tournament, so it's probably going to be a crazy game. Uh, I expect it to be hard nose. Uh, going against one another, grinding out. No, I'm just excited to play. Anything else for the guys? All right, go home, guys. <laughs> Wait, no, stay and write my story. <laughs>